the first time I've ever seen a guard talk to or have a conversation with um, a non off duty guard. Lovely. Is she allowed? She's gone. It's one of those line bikes now. Oh. Is she allowed? Yes, she is allowed. Um, it's always at the guard's discretion. Ah, I don't know, I'm not sure what happened then. They've left though, look. Privilege. No, Moz, can we get rid of that idiot, please? Bye bye. Right, see you later. No way, seriously? Damn it, I can't believe I missed that bunch of idiots. I think they were just taking the whatevers, no? Every, every single time distracted at the front, no, no, do I. It's really this annoying. Is the problem in this place, I can't be everywhere at once. Yeah, it's a little bit too big, isn't it? To deal with the front. Something happens in here. <laughs> just as we were coming back, I saw them jeering. Yeah. So what the fuck have they just done? Idiots. We come flying along to find out that he says they didn't do anything, he's okay. Yeah, I don't want to take the piss out. No, I don't. Mm. I don't tolerate it. Yeah, notice how quickly they disappeared through the tunnel though when they saw. That school teacher last week, she didn't have time to put those kids up. We have banned the dessert. We've banned people. I've got that on camera. Do they deserve it. I've got it on camera. I've got it on YouTube. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, I've got it on Because I'm in the background. <laughs> they, they deserve it, don't they, to be fair? But if a guard had said to me that they had done something, then I would have acted on it. But if he's saying they haven't done anything, and like the lady was standing and sort of saying, oh no, they've been stuffing me. Yeah, but he's very modest, you know this. One, I know, he's, he's a really modest guy, so. They're not telling you anything, I can't act on anything. Oh, they just, they shut up yeah, they, they vanished pretty fast, didn't they? <laughs> they flipped them up. A bunch of massive bunch of idiots just taking the whatever, so then they came over and they legged it pretty much. Yeah, dickheads. Okay, guys, let's go back to the front. Sorry, folks, we missed it. It's a real pity, actually, that uh, we were just focusing on that. We got it because we got that amazing conversation between the guard and the gent that was uh, touching the horse in a very polite, res respectful way. Plus, he gave the horse a kiss as well, which was unusual. Just a bunch of stupid kids taking the taking the you-know-what in there. Then they ran off and the police came through the gate. <coughs> Happens occasionally, but the fact they ran off so quick, just idiots. They're just kids, nothing major. They're just a bunch of idiot kids uh, getting in the guard's face at senior, but luckily there was some woman there that just basically told them to get lost. That's when the police rushed in and then they all ran away. We almost got it, but not quite. There's more drama inside the gates, actually, in, in the course of this morning than there was outside. Lots of shouts in the arches. A hell of a lot of shouts in the arches. I'm just annoyed, guys, because I would have loved to jump right in the middle of it, but I missed it. It's 3.15, so we've got uh, 40 minutes. Ish, give or take. <laughs> yeah, they actually put the uh, when somebody leaves something behind a scooter or you know like a football or push chair, God knows what all kinds of stuff gets left here. Uh, police, uh, Ministry of Defence police don't have a storage facility anywhere in London. They don't hand over stuff to the Metropolitan Police because they, they need to call them in, property report, blah blah. So instead, uh, they will take it out and leave it on the public highway. Because then one of two things happens. Either the random passerby will just claim it and walk off with it, or two, um, the street cleaners, if that's just laying around in the middle of the night, street cleaners will just take it. Either way, it will vanish, is what I'm trying to say, without the paperwork and the bureaucracy and all that nonsense. But yes, both of the, at the moment, as you see, both of the box, the lady here and the other end, are indeed female. Yeah. And of the two that just came off, one's also a lady. So three of the four boxmen today are indeed ladies. Almost a full house, not quite, but close, close enough. Kirsty, welcome. Welcome, everyone. I 
think as well on the main account guys we just this morning hit six million likes which is a nice round number i like it when when those round numbers are on there for some reason that just uh it just feels kind of soothing i think is what we're looking for yeah exactly six million oh actually wait i just remember the other thing that happened this morning um i haven't really looked at the footage but it looked to me some young curvy polish girl came over um, with her <clears throat> hanging out anyway so she was standing in front of the horse posing whatever her friend was taking pictures and then the horse decided he wanted to nibble her chest uh so yeah that video i'll put up later as well thank you guys uh, of the polish girl's chest getting nibbled by the horse it's her own fault because to be honest it was all over the place but yes you know i, I didn't realize that uh that the guards' horses were all uh, herbivores. So I was genuinely surprised. Yeah, uh, proves that they're not after all. He went straight for it. Carnivorous horse after all. I think actually the reason there are far more people out on a Monday than you would typically expect, certainly in the afternoon, um, on a school day as well, is because the weather's great. Yeah, anyone that would have been out and about the palace except for this morning coming over here in the afternoon, it's just... Look at this. You would think this was a June morning or something, wouldn't you? It really does not feel at all like we're approaching October. Typical temperature for this time of the year here would be around about 12 degrees, so we're almost double that today. Crazy, eh? Not that I'm complaining, but that's the way it is. Decent for people, in fact, for the afternoon as well. Yeah, colour's really good. It'll be a nice inspection today. That's why I'm kind of keeping an eye on which captain's going to come through the tunnel as well. Hopefully, people, it'll be somebody we recognise. I certainly hope so, anyway. All right, let's concentrate a teeny weeny bit on those arches and try and avoid poking some tourists in the face with my camera. Monday, I couldn't really see a reason why the captain wouldn't make it over here today. There are a couple of reasons potentially why. One, there might not be a captain available. Possible. It will be sick. Assigned to other duties, but I'm pretty sure we'll have a captain and a normal full inspection. Bearing in mind there were no inspections yesterday, no morning inspection and no afternoon inspection. Some nice bright colours here today. Tourists just plunking their bags down, luggage storage area there on the left. Thank you, Wendy. Drama. I mean, to be honest, as is always the case, folks, no? Pretty much. I'm wondering, though, the gatesman before, the current gatesman, he was at the front for a good amount of time. So I'll be interested to see if this gatesman decides to go out and try and break it. London is super. Yep, you're quite right about that. Uh, Jan, thank you for stopping by. And goodbye. Jan decided to leave us, which is a shame actually. Because it's only about, what, five months until it's Jan again. But on this channel, it'll never be Jan again. Never mind. Do I live in London? Yeah, same time. Uh, I do live in London. Yep. It was either that or uh, flying from Tokyo every morning. I thought I'd save the money and, uh, and live here instead. Just easier, to be fair, no? on the whole. from Bolivia, wow. Buenos dias to everyone in Bolivia that's watching. So I think we might have captured, guys, the first ever conversation between uh, a King's Guard on duty 
Uh, and the tourist. Uh, you are British. I'm actually not. Uh, would you believe? Yeah. I was actually born in the South Pole. Uh, so I'm actually South South Polian. We've left the uh, gates open at the back. Breeze, nice breeze coming through. Miss World! Oh, Miss World! Ha! <laughs> 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 trying to make her laugh, the girl trying to make her laugh, but she had a Miss World. She had the look, for sure. What does that mean? Ah, 